introduce myself again. My name is Lavissa. I'm from the Australian Youth Climate Coalition. Today, we are part of a global movement. Today, we march with people in over 2,000 cities and towns around the world. Today, on the eve of the United Nations climate change negotiations, we march with those most affected by the climate crisis, including First Nations people, the Global South, and our neighbours in the Pacific. We march to hold governments accountable, to demonstrate that anything but a total commitment to solving the climate crisis is unacceptable. So far, our federal government has failed to rise to the challenge, and they are out of step with Australians and with the world in their inaction. But today, we march not only against governments without vision, against governments who are unwilling to imagine a future other than the one they've set us on course to. We march for clean air and for clean water. We march for justice and we march for jobs. We march for a world in which we protect the most vulnerable. We march for a world beyond fossil fuels. We march for the world that we know is possible. These last few months have not only been about this one rally though, they've been about building a movement to face the climate crisis in the years to come. Because you can't talk about climate change and action on climate change without talking about justice for indigenous communities and justice for the global south. You can't talk about action on climate change without talking about jobs and just transitions for workers. You can't talk about climate change on its own anymore. The fact is that the UN has been negotiating on climate change for 21 years running. They've been negotiating my whole life. And so far they have failed to rise to the challenge with the scale and urgency that it demands. They have scale failed to rise to the challenge posed to them by my generation. Will you protect my future? They have said no so far, but I hope that they will still say yes. Because all over the world this weekend we march. All over the world we have marched time and time again. All over the world we are building movements. And all over the world for the young people that have grown up with these negotiations, instead of turning our backs on climate change, we have taken up the fight. We have realised that climate impacts may not be our legacy, but they will be our inheritance. Yeah. We are not going to wait for world leaders that have failed to take up the challenge. Young people have been at the forefront of every social movement, and right now we're on the forefront of the fight for a safe climate future. We know that we can have wins. This week, the state government announced that by 2050, South Australia is going to have zero carbon emissions. How amazing is that? It's a big win for our movement and it really shows what we can do when we come together across the community like we've done today. And we hope that the state government will take up the recommendation to power South Australia by 100% renewable energy by 2050, but this can only happen if we work together.